But before I wrap up, I wanted to show you just one more demonstration. One more demonstration. Uh, we're going to show you an application that's also a development environment that uses kind of everything we've talked about today to some measure. It uses the graphics capabilities. It uses phones and tablets. It runs on Azure on the back end. And this is a, uh, a, a game we first talked about at the E3 conference just a few weeks ago. Uh, we call it Project Spark. And I think it'll, again, spark your imagination in terms of some of the things that you can do in this modern environment. So this is a game that's also a development environment for building games. But let's welcome on stage Rusty McClellan and Dave McCarthy from our uh, interactive entertainment group. They're going to wet your whistle for one final time this morning. Dave. Hi, everyone. Rusty and I are excited to be here today to give you a small glimpse at what Project Spark can do across devices on a variety of inputs. Rusty's going to start off by creating a beautiful world on a Windows 8 desktop with touch controls. And in less than five minutes, we'll build a game from scratch via Smart Glass on the recently announced Xbox One. Project Spark is an open world digital canvas that enables anyone to build, play, and share whatever they can imagine. It's a powerful, yet simple way to create your own worlds, stories, and games. Project Spark will be available on Xbox One, Xbox 360, and Windows 8. And through the power of the cloud, it lets you seamlessly carry over your progress and content from one platform to another. It's an ongoing service with frequent updates and content additions across all of our platforms. Play the way you want on whichever platform you want. Now, Rusty's just putting the uh, finishing touches here on our game setting. We've chosen Desert Oasis. He's using our paintbrush to put in some finite detail, a little greenery around the pond there. Let's put a couple more finishing touches on this, Rusty. We'll play with the time of day. And let's do the position of the sun. That's cool. All right, and then we'll finish off with uh, placing an enemy for our gameplay scenario. Your choice. You've chose the goblin. Nice. Place him in there. Excellent. All right. So Rusty's going to save what he just made to the cloud, and we'll pick up uh, over here in our living room without losing a beat. Imagine the possibilities that are unlocked by creating away from your console and then playing your masterpiece over on the big screen. Seamlessly creating back and forth, devices at your ready, just waiting for your next inspiration. This is digital age nirvana. All right, Rusty, so we're loading this up on the Xbox One. We want to see our uh, desert oasis and our little gameplay moment with the goblin here. Rusty's on controller right now. There we are, looks good. Now, being across all devices opens up new methods of input and allows us to innovate with games of all types. Even though we're now playing on an Xbox One, we can use smart glass and remote rendering on any Windows 8 device to keep creating with amazing touch controls. So Rusty, let's change this controller-based action mechanic into something maybe a little less predictable for console gaming. In Project Spark, we can add behaviors to anything in the world or alter brains that already exist on things. And play around with this goblin brain and make a quick touch game for everyone. So Rusty started by deleting the default brain, and we're going to build one from scratch. The brain is broken up into a when and a do side. The visual language is simple, yet very powerful. We're going to tell the goblin here to jump on the ground after a specified time to a height of, what are we going to pick, about five meters, we think? Perfect. Looks good. Now, Rusty's going to change the camera next to a different view. He's going to start again by deleting our default brain here. And then we're going to place a fixed camera. And we'll see how this comes into play in a second. You've got to frame this perfectly, Rusty. This is your chance. Scene looks pretty good. Desert Oasis looks nice. All right. Awesome. 
All right, now it's time to put our controls in. So we're going to make this a touch-based instead of a controller-based game. So we'll get our touch mechanic in. And when Rusty touches an object, what we want to do is create a visual effect that will pull out of our library here. So let's let Rusty put this line in. We'll go into our library and choose an effect. These include things that are both created by our team uh, over in Xbox and some that can be created by the community as well. Then we want to put one other child rule in, and that will execute after the effect, which will destroy whatever we've touched, making this our main mechanic. All right, looks good. All right, now finally we'll use our clone command to make more goblins here. We just can't have one goblin jumping around. And with more time, Rusty could set up timers, scores, sounds, and so much more. Rusty, let's change a couple of those goblins into something different. Give it a little visual variety here. We're in the desert, he's chosen the Yeti. Interesting choice. So we'll put a Yeti in there, maybe another one. All right. Looking good. Perfect. And then let's play with the position a little bit so we get some height variety. There we go. All right. Now, Rusty should be able to swipe or touch these enemies and try and defeat them all. Ah, oh, there they are. Now, in just a few minutes, he was able to create a touch game. He started on Windows 8 and completed over on Xbox One with Smart Glass. With Project Spark and Microsoft Services, the power to create across devices, to delight with multiple inputs, and the freedom to do it anywhere has never been easier for developers and players. We're taking registration for our beta on Windows 8 at joinprojectspark.com, and you can also come by and check us out later in the gaming lounge to see the creativity that Project Spark can unlock. We'd like to finish by showing you a short sample of some of the cross-platform games people just like you have brought to life using Project Spark. Thank you. Simple point in showing you a little bit of Project Spark because I think it really helps define what the new world of applications looks like. Rich clients interacting and taking advantage of, of very rich and sophisticated service infrastructure and able to be customized and developed upon and enhanced whether it's client code or cloud code by literally hundreds and thousands of people around the world. And whether we're talking about productivity in the office, enjoyment at home, serious kind of hardcore fun, which I guess is Project Spark, certainly it would be for my 14-year-old. We're trying to facilitate that kind of deep innovation across everything we do.